If you're new to Kittle or you need a quick refresher of its most important features and tools, then this is the video for you. So on your Kittle home screen, you will see your recent projects at the top and then some recommended templates in the second row. If you want to see the entire template section, you can click on this right here on the left hand side and then you can filter through this. For example, if you want to design t-shirts, click on merchandise, then t-shirts and open up the filters right here because at the top you have got themes so if you want to design for a specific niche for example yoga you just click on that and it will filter out a ton of really good templates for the yoga niche however if you want to filter this by styles then you can also open up this down here and you can for example just show the templates that have that groovy style attached to them. There's tons tons of good ones right here. If you want to save any of these and use them in a future project, you can bookmark them with this little symbol, which is really handy. And then you can find all the bookmarked templates in the bookmark section on the left once again. Now, if you want to use any of these templates, you click on it right here and say, use this design, and then it will open up in a new document. And the nice thing about Kittle is these are super easy to edit. So if I want to change the text right here, I can just double click into the text layer. I can type out my new words or my new phrase and it will automatically apply that same text effect or alignment. In this case, it's kind of at an angle. If you want to change the graphics in the template at all, you can just click on the graphic and then launch the Kittle Copilot and that will automatically show you similar graphics right here as suggestions. And you can very easily just hit replace and it will put it in the same place in your design as well as change the color scheme as well to suit the same colors as your document, which is really, really handy. So this is essentially a quick way to customize your template and adjust the phrase being used as well. If you wanted to export this design now, I would first of all, select everything and then make sure it is covering the artboard a little bit better. I would then click on the individual elements and align them with these buttons over here to the center. And now if we click on the title of the artboard up here, you will notice that it might not be the right dimensions for your current project. This is a t-shirt design. You might need this to be a different size. In that case, I would recommend locking the proportions, changing the width to 4,500 then hitting enter. Now, if you zoom out and click on this again, you can change the height to 5,400 pixels, hit enter, and there we go. Now we've got this in the right format. Just make sure nothing is being cut off the edges right there. And now this is ready for export. We can save this design by clicking on share, download project. You want to make sure to select remove background right here, optimize quality, change the DPI to 300, and then just download this as a PNG file. If you want to start a project from scratch you can do that on your home screen as well just click on new project right here and then you can choose the print on demand drop down to actually select the exact print dimensions that you need. So if you're not merged by Amazon seller, you've got a preset. You've also got different printful or printified templates for different products. And this will automatically apply the right settings. Then you can just click create and we'll open up a blank canvas for you right here. Kittle can also help you generate designs with AI. So for example, in this template, if I wanted to change this graphic of the cat and the, the mouse right here, I can delete these and then go to Kittle AI, which has DALI 3, Flux Pro and Ideogram built in. And they all have a lot of preset styles, either clip out styles or vector styles are going to be really handy for print and amount. I'm going to choose the vintage drawing in this case, and then I'll just prompt the new graphic that I want. So you can keep it very simple, a raccoon wearing sunglasses, chilling on the beach, and then scroll down, hit generate image. And within a few seconds, you will get a really nice result that you can use in your design. If you want to match the colors, you just click on the graphic right here, change the illustration color. You've got the document colors once again at the bottom, so you can easily match this dark green, for example. Another thing Kittle is very famous for is its abundance of text effects. So for example, this thunder text layer up here, if we click into this and scroll down on the right hand side, you will notice you can change the transformation effect very easily to something else and then further customize 
the way this piece of text is displayed, which is really, really handy to get creative. And there's a bunch of different options that you have right here in terms of the layout and the effect. The text shading is also a big feature, which uh, you can see right here by this kind of 3D shadow effect. There's different presets for this that you can roll through and apply. And then you can increase the offset and change the angle as well for this, which is really nice. You've got an outline slider if you want it to have a thicker or thinner outline. And then you even have the text decorations at the bottom, which let you apply different effects right here and even change the weight and the distance of it as well. So tons and tons of ways to customize your typography. And this is definitely a massive bonus of using Kittle. What I also love about Kittle is that they have a massive library of really, really nice looking professional fonts. I've got some of my favorites right here drawn up on this app board. And these are the actual names of the fonts. If you want to search them within the typeface section right here, you can just hit search at the top, or you can also filter by different categories right here. Um, for example, if you scroll through a little bit, you'll find vintage as a filter, and then it will give you all of the vintage fonts within Kittle. If you find any that you really like the look of, you can bookmark them in that way. If you have no filters applied, they should always show up along the top. Once you've finished creating a design, Kittle also has you covered for mockups. So right now I have nothing selected and the mockup tool shows up on the right hand side. If you click on this, it opens up Kittle's mockup generator where they have tons of different categories on the left hand side for different products. And they even have specific t-shirts right here. For example, the Bella Canva 6400. If I click show all right here, it will show me all of the available mockups for that shirt. And then if you want to use one of them, just click on this right here, you can resize your design and even change the color of the shirt on the right hand side. And then once you're done, you just click download mockup and there we go. That was super easy. And now we have a mockup to use in our store. Another quick bonus tip, if you want to learn some of the shortcut buttons to navigate Kittle more easily, you can find those in the bottom left corner right here under shortcuts. And I use a lot of these on a regular basis to kind of save time and make everything flow more easily. If you like the look of Kittle, then you definitely need to watch this video as well, where I walk through their new vector editing features that will help you level up your designs massively.